The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. On social media. The rope was wrapped around his neck. It was not a noose. It was not a knot in the rope. So therefore, it was not a lynching here in Vance County. Unfortunate situations that's happening in the South, in particularly Henderson, North Carolina. I fucks with North Carolina, but I I do know that I do that know that there is some situations and some history with states in the South. But I can't believe that this is happening in 2024. But I do know that viral videos of people doing racist acts, speaking racist terms to to other people, it still didn't exist. It still exists. Racism, in my humble opinion, is never going to go anywhere because it's always generated from generations. So it's unfortunate. It really is that we still living in the times that we really have to watch our backs for anything. But in this clip right here, we, we got a black sheriff saying that he don't believe that this young man was involved in any foul play, which I don't understand. How could you say he's not? He don't believe that the young man committed suicide. I, how could you? I, I guess you can, but I don't know. This officer or the sheriff department claims that the young man brought the rope that was used in his demise. Okay, I, I don't know about all of that. It doesn't matter if it was tied in a bow tie. It, it was wrapped around the boy's neck. Just 21 years old, he just got a CDL license for a Chicago area trucking company. He was in Henderson making a drop off at the Walmart distribution center and was found dead Wednesday morning off Vanco Mill Road, not far from his truck, sitting with his back to a tree with a rope around his neck. The sheriff today told me he doesn't believe there was foul play, but he wouldn't call it a suicide. He did say, however, there was evidence Javion may have bought rope from a nearby Walmart. We're going down every avenue, every aspect, all the information, videos. Uh, we, we got in contact with the trucking company uh, to get his GPS reading. In the meantime, the sheriff trying to tamp down rumors that are swirling on social media. The rope was wrapped around his neck. It was not a noose. It was not a knot in the rope. So therefore, it was not a lynching here in Vance County. But those However you can spin this or even look at it, the rope was around the man's neck. So I don't know, want to call it not a lynching, but the boy was found with rope around his neck, bruises around his neck, which could possibly indicate that he was hung somewhere but it's it's not actually saying so i'm not going to be speculating to the fact because with everybody out here on social media saying that he was hung maybe maybe so but without all of the facts of the story i can't speculate on whether or not he was hung but but i'm not going to leave out the fact that he was in lynch either just because the officer said that it wasn't a noose it wasn't a knot it doesn't matter what it was. Somebody could wrap a rope around a person's neck, throw it over, throw it over a tree limb, and him his ass up from the tree. He was found with his back up against a tree. He was found with rope around his neck. So call it what you want, officer. I'm 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 seeing I'm seeing different things here, but I'm I'm not gonna speculate to the fact because again, I don't have all the facts. The investigation is still ongoing. But what I want to say to the truck drivers out here is to really, really be careful. You new truck drivers, you new jack truck drivers, you guys get into this industry so freaking naive, thinking that everything, everything and everybody is all cool and all like that. You, you just don't know these people, man. You don't know how trucking would get you. It, it could get you success. It could bring you change in your life, 
but if you going into this industry so naive that you going into areas that you don't think you're going to get bothered you better think again man you better think again there's been plenty of areas that i've been in with, with my eyes on the back of my head i ain't playing i walked in a few sketchy ass places now even though i don't let none of that stuff bother me but if i feel uncomfortable i'm damn sure not gonna stay and as soon as i start walking back to my truck my head is on a swivel so we don't know if this young man was kidnapped we don't know this young man was 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 led astray or anything like that no they're they're really not not talking but it's a lot of unanswered questions and a whole bunch of internet speculations see that's the problem and that's the issue that's going to be starting a lot of internet speculations people already talking that the boy was hung that the boy was this that and the third and the officer over here talking about the man brought the rope that was used so that's even adding more fuel to the fire i don't know i my condolences goes out to this young man's family but just watch yourselves drivers and new jack drivers i'm i'm just gonna say this man stop being naive out here especially you women especially you women that loves to do all these TikToks and love to talk about the company you work with and love to let people know that you're in the truck by yourself love letting people know that you're doing TikTok dances wearing booty shorts and halter tops and all like that especially you women you guys need to watch yourselves just a little bit more just come out here do the job and go home do all that tiktok stuff that tiktok dances and and wearing sexy outfits when you on your home time sexy outfits isn't for the truck that's just my opinion don't come after me i'm just saying i'm just looking out safety you can wear and do whatever you want i am going to watch you regardless but i'm just saying i just hope that you take heed of everything that we say when it comes to female truck drivers scantily clad dressing driving tiktoking and all that other good stuff we is just looking out for your safety because whatever happened to that man could possibly happen to you hold on what's going on guys i just want to stop the video right here right quick if you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing go ahead and hit that like button for me bro hit that like button it's free it's free if you made it this far into the video man make sure you hit that like button it's right up under the video man and if you guys like more content like this consider okay y'all got two options well one but two options you can either subscribe for the channel for more and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show that's gonna do it for this episode right here thank you for listening i really do appreciate it everybody just be you know diligent in the areas that you be at whether you're delivering or posted up for the night just be diligent in the areas where you're at because you know things incredible things do happen in trucking and if you're out here being too naive to understand that then this industry is probably not the industry you need to be in again thank you very much for listening and until next time everybody lock out men out if it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.